dear students in this video i will explain the important results on the slope of the line the first one is slope of a line when coordinate of any two points on the line are given here we proceed to find the slope of a line in terms of coordinates of two points on the line you know that if you take any two points on the plane you can get a unique line by joining that points now let p in bracket x1 comma y1 and q in bracket x2 comma y2 be any two points on non vertical line l whose inclination is theta the inclination of a line l may be acute or obtuse let us take these two cases that is when angle theta is acute let us take a line l such a way that the angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis theta that is the angle of inclination is theta and theta is acute and let us take the two points p x1 comma y1 and q x2 y2 are two points on the line and draw perpendicular qr to x axis and pm perpendicular to rq as in the figure like this you have to draw the perpendicular qr to x axis and pm to qr now the slope of the line l is equal to m which is equal to tan theta by the definition of this slope if theta is the inclination of the line slope of the line is equal to m is equal to tan theta let us call this equation 1 from the figure angle mpq is also is equal to theta because pm is perpendicular to the line qr and therefore pm is parallel to x axis and this angle is theta then this angle is also equal to theta and therefore we have angle mpq is equal to theta and pmq is a right angle triangle and from the triangle mpq we have tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side opposite side is qm adjacent side is pm therefore that is equal to mq divided by mp mq is equal to y2 minus y1 because uh, this height is y2 and this distance is y1 and uh, mq is equal to y2 minus y1 and mp is equal to mp is equal to x2 minus x1 because the coordinate of q is x2 comma y2 or is equal to x2 and uh, mp is equal to x2 minus x1 therefore you have tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is equation 2 from the equation 1 and 2 we have slope of the line is equal to m which is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 similarly let us take the second case that is when angle theta is obtuse and let us take a line l such that angle made by line is theta where theta is obtuse draw perpendicular qr to x axis and pm perpendicular to rq as in the figure draw qr perpendicular to x axis and pm perpendicular to qr now suppose this angle is theta you can observe that this angle is 180 minus theta and once this angle is 180 minus theta here pm and x axis are parallel therefore this angle is also 180 minus theta and uh, we have slope of the line m is equal to tan theta from the figure we have angle mpq angle mpq is equal to 180 minus theta and therefore what is uh, theta theta is 180 minus angle mpq from this figure we have slope of the line m is equal to tan theta what is theta 180 minus angle mpq tan of 180 minus angle mpq and tan of 180 minus x is equal to minus tan x because uh, it is in second quadrant in second quadrant tan is negative therefore it is minus tan of mpq and mpq is an angle of a triangle qmp and uh, therefore we have m is equal to minus of opposite side divided by adjacent side that is uh, mq divided by mp now see the figure 
m q is y2 minus y1 because mr is equal to y1 and qr is y2 therefore it is y2 minus y1 whereas mp is x1 minus x2 here the coordinate of p is x1 comma y1 therefore x1 is greater than x2 and therefore the distance mp is equal to x1 minus x2 therefore minus of y2 minus y1 divided by x1 minus x2 and that is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 the slope of the line m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 in both the cases we will get the same formula and thus you have to remember this formula the slope of the line joining the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is the first formula you have to memorize from this chapter now we will have some other results on the slope of the lines now let us get the condition for parallelism and perpendicularity of lines in terms of their slopes and suppose two lines are given such that the lines are parallel then the line will be like this here if you take two lines which are parallel the angle of inclination of the line will be same suppose the angle is alpha and this angle is beta if the lines are parallel angle of inclination of the line it is angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis will be same therefore if the lines are making angle alpha and beta then alpha is equal to beta therefore tan alpha is equal to tan beta that is slope of the first line is equal to slope of the second line it is sufficient if you remember this result the lines l1 is parallel to l2 then their slopes are equal that is m1 is equal to m2 you have to memorize this result and conversely if the slope of two lines l1 and l2 is same then the lines are parallel and remember this result also that is if the lines are parallel then slopes are equal conversely if the slopes of the lines are equal then the lines are parallel similarly let us get the condition of perpendicularity and if the lines l1 and l2 are perpendicular let us take this figure so that here the angle made by the one line is alpha and angle made by the other line is beta and such that the lines are perpendicular let us get the relation between the tan alpha and tan beta where tan alpha is equal to m1 and tan beta is equal to m2 now this angle is beta and uh, therefore what is this angle this angle is 180 minus beta and now this angle is 90 degree because the angle between the line is 90 degree as the lines are perpendicular therefore this angle is also 90 degree this angle is 90 degree now you got the angles of a triangle this angle is 180 minus beta this is alpha and this is 90 degree and you know that sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degree therefore we will have alpha plus 180 minus beta 180 minus beta plus 90 this angle is alpha this is 180 minus beta this is 90 degree and sum of the angles of the triangle is equal to 180 degree now here 180 180 gets cancelled now you can express beta in terms of alpha, alpha that is beta is equal to 90 degree plus alpha and therefore tan beta is equal to you will have tan beta is equal to tan of 90 plus alpha tan of 90 plus alpha what is tan of 90 plus alpha tan of 90 plus alpha is equal to minus cot alpha therefore tan beta is equal to tan beta is equal to minus cot alpha because tan of 90 plus x 90 plus x is in second quadrant in second quadrant tan is negative minus as it is odd multiple of 90 tan changes to cot minus cot alpha here tan beta is equal to minus cot alpha can be written as minus of 1 by tan alpha and what is the 
tan alpha and tan beta they are the slopes of the line that is alpha is tan alpha is equal to m1 and tan beta is equal to m2 therefore m2 is equal to minus 1 by m1 or m1 into m2 is equal to m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and remember this result that is if the lines are perpendicular then the product of the slope is equal to minus 1 thus we will have this result if the lines l1 and l2 are perpendicular then product of their slope is minus 1 that is m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 conversely if m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 that is product of the slopes of the line is equal to minus 1 then the lines are perpendicular to each other with this much i'll conclude this video in the next video i'll give other results on the slopes of the line thank you